Pastor Carl Gallups is uh, a pretty far right wing pastor, and he went on Jim Baker's Christian Fundamentalist show. And these guys let the crazy loose for everybody to see. I think that's why there's so much of an attack on Donald Trump in America yeah. and, and that Americans don't even know. I think this is very spiritual. We've talked about this several years ago we sure when have. we were uh, tr talking about him running. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, this is, it's, it's spiritual and, and at some levels very demonic, the demonic attack. And I think with him being so focused on Israel, I mean, that's what Satan hates. Israel is so prophetic. It goes all the way back to the Garden of Eden, all the way up to ground zero. I mean, this is where it all began. That's where it's all going to culminate. That's where Jesus is coming back to. That's where he's going to rule and reign from. Yeah. And, and now Donald Trump is declaring Jerusalem the capital in the 70th year. I mean, this is spiritual, and that's what's happening. And I think Satan is raising up um, uh, 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 antagonism right here in America. Yeah. About that. I think that's what a lot of this is about. A lot of people don't know it. They think it's all political. But I'm saying I think a lot of it is deeply, deeply spiritual. You know, we talk about the deep state. Yes. There's a deeper state. The spirit of Antichrist is trying to destroy all gospel. That's right. Christian television, if the enemy, if the opposition get, ever gets a hold of this country again, believe me, you have no idea how much this world hates the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. And I believe God has us stay on the air. Yes. When the president called our home, Lori, yes. after the election, and he said, Jim and Lori and staff and families and all the viewers, tell them, the, the thank viewers. you. Yes. Donald Trump spent about 15, 20 minutes on the phone with me. All they did was I, thank I, me. I remember. You know it. You're involved yeah. with this. Yeah. You, you actually opened up one of Trump's rallies with did. prayers. I was very, I was very You've blessed been involved. to be to open up one of his you, rallies. You, you're a, a, a award-winning police officer. I know yeah. that. You've yeah. been, you, 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 love the, you love this country. Yes, I do. So Donald Trump is talking to these kinds of characters, the, literally these two guys. Now, Jim, Jim Baker, I mean, all these guys are full of shit, so who knows to what extent they're being honest here. But I don't give a fuck. If Donald Trump spoke to... Uh, Jim Baker for five minutes. That's terrifying. We know, as a matter of fact, he spoke to this Carl Gallup's guy because he opened a rally for Donald Trump. So even if we say the Baker thing is bullshit and Baker is pretending he spoke to Trump even though he didn't, we know he spoke to the Carl Gallup's guy, which is petrifying. And also remember that Alex Jones has repeatedly bragged about talking to Donald Trump. And he said he spoke to him on a regular basis. He could be lying. I don't know to what extent he's actually spoken to him. But he did do an, Trump did do an interview on Alex Jones' show, so it's not totally outside the realm of possibility that Alex Jones has a direct line to the president of the United States. And look at the things that these people believe. Look at what they believe. They have a line to Trump, and look at what they believe. Uh, we, I don't need to put any fucking, oh, here's Kyle's commentary on top of what just happened and what you just saw with your own two eyes. Just digest what you already saw with your own two eyes. They talk about how there's a spiritual demonic attack. The spirit of the Antichrist is attacking Trump. How? Why? Because Donald Trump is fulfilling biblical prophecy on Israel and saying Jerusalem is the undivided capital of Israel and moving the embassy. And so Satan doesn't like that. Uh, the demons don't like that. And so when the leftists attack him, that's really the Antichrist and the spirit of, of demons attacking President Trump for fulfilling biblical prophecy. And listen, they actually explain how Carl Gallup's does. This is all about the rapture. See, we support Trump with his Israel move because it's all about the rapture. Donald Trump recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital, saying it's their undivided uh, capital, moving the embassy there, that fulfills biblical prophecy to say all the land is Israel's. In the Bible, when all the land is Israel's, Jesus comes back, Jesus kills, what, uh, three-fourths of the Jews, uh, converts one-fourth of them, and then we all, you know, whatever, go to heaven together. These are fucking crazy, fundamentalist fairy tales that clearly are not going to happen. Anybody who gives a shit about evidence and science and reason can come to that conclusion. But these guys have aligned to Donald Trump and they really believe this stuff and they think he's fulfilling biblical prophecy. And see, that's the thing about Donald Trump. 
The last person he's in the room with usually is somebody who he agrees with and he does their agenda. And we've seen the pictures of Trump in the room with all these insane right-wing pastors praying over him, putting their hand over him. And so they give him positive reinforcement and then he gives them whatever the fuck they want. And what they want is insane fundamentalist garbage. And then some people have the nerve to talk about, you know, the problem with the Palestinians is that they're all so extremely fundamentalist. That's the problem. Are there fundamentalist Palestinians, and does that get in the way of peace? Absolutely. Fundamentalist Muslims in the Palestinian territories. But ultra-Orthodox Jews, also incredibly fundamentalist. Uh, and evangelical Christians, perhaps even worse, because they think, yeah, wipe out the Palestinians, because that's all Israel's land, and we need that to be the case to fulfill the Bible. And they're admitting it. They're just saying it. He's like, yeah, that's where everything's going to happen. That's where it's going to go down. So we support Trump with what he's doing here. So in the name of Bible literalism, they're fine with doing an ethnic cleansing of Palestinians. Let that sink in. The guys who claim that Jesus, I'm all about Jesus, I love Jesus, are like ethnic cleansing in order to fulfill biblical prophecy, let's do it. Actually, it's more than that. Ethnic cleansing of Palestinians, then genocide of the Jews when the rapture happens. Unbelievable. And these are the guys that are in the room with Trump. So if you were thinking of maybe getting a good, a good night's sleep tonight, don't. You should be restless when you hear this.